Come on, Garnet, let's go and do something. Anything. girls laughing at over there. Oh, oh my God. Calling my boss. Oh. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling. Hello. Uh, can I help you with anything or would you just like to browse? I'd love to browse, but um, do you have any Bibles? <laughs> no, I'm serious, actually. I collect them. Any really old and um, interesting Bibles with illustrations. Not the kind of illustrations your twins are looking at, of course. <laughs> oh, and I have a couple of boxes of books back at the vicarage, left over from the last village jumble sale. I wonder if you'd like them. Yes, please. Good. Well, how about you two popping along to collect them, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, Blob. It's not fair. Guy got heaps more beans than me. Tough. You ate all your greedy goods. Oh, dear. It's not very good for our first day's takings. <gasps> it's not too bad. Nobody knows we're open yet. Don't worry. I think we're going to do better at the weekends anyway, with all the holidaymakers. You come on, hard that to this dumb. It's going to be a glorious weekend, with tons of holidaymakers buying armfuls of books. Yes. Yuck, yuck, bleh! Oh, yes, Rose, a glorious day. <laughs> But the bookshop is packed, Ruby. But no one's buying anything. Rose gets it wrong again. The hikers are leaving mud everywhere. The bikers seem more interested in the tail. And look, someone's having a picnic. Cheek! It's good no one's buying anything. Because if the shop goes bust, we can go home to Gran. Excuse me! 
Can I help anybody with anything? Like buying a book? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I silly bookshop. Yeah. But at least you got school tomorrow. School? Oh, yeah. I know what kind of school that's going to be. One of those awful old-fashioned schools with an awful old-fashioned teacher. I'd rather go to prison myself. We're off to the worst school in the world. Oh, Ruby, it won't be that bad. Will it? Right. Here you go. Here's your lunch. Would you like me to walk to the school with you? Yes. No, we're not babies. Come on, go. <laughs> Honestly, Garnet, you're a wimp sometimes. I hate this bit. Everyone always stares at us because we're twins. I know, it's brilliant. Oh, no, no, settle down, everybody, come on. Now, this is Ruby and this is Garnet. Oh, have I got you wrong already? No. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you're playing tricks on me already. Well, everybody, this is Ruby and Garnet. Where am I going to sit you? Um, uh... Uh-oh, blob. <laughs> Why is that girl pointing to that seat? No way. We're not going to be split up. Told you. That silly little girl could sit next to Blob. Sorry, you had to move. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was, stupid bookwormies. Jeremy, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Now, remember yesterday we were talking about opposites? You know, good things and bad things? Two little bookwormies are no match for me. Jeremy! Wanna bet? exactly enchanted with them myself, but it was worth it. Hello, girls. How was your first day? Squirming. <laughs> Haven't you got any Bills and Moon? I like romance. <laughs> we have some Mills and Boone over here. 50p, a bargain opening offer. <laughs> Call that a bargain? I can get them for 10p each down at the car boot sale. Another one gone. Silly old bus. Oh, there's that boy again. He's been hanging around here quite a lot. I think he fancies you girls. Mmm, cute and cute. Dad! Jeremy Blub. As if we could ever fancy him. He's rubbish. This place is rubbish. It's not so bad. It is. I miss Dumbo Debenham's rubbish too. Why don't we ask Ruby and Garnet what's good about being a twin and what's bad about being a twin? Oh, no, in front of everyone. Leave it to me. Shh. Well, it's easy peasy, really. The good things about being a twin, everything. The bad things about being a twin, nothing. Oh, it's great you feel that way, Ruby. 
But what about you, Garnet? What do you feel? Well, she thinks the same as me, you know. Do you? Yes, everything. Like Ruby said. Oh. Because? Because you've always got a friend to talk to and play with. You're never alone, <laughs> and you can have all sorts of special secrets. Shut up, Garnet. No, no, let Garnet have her say. And what about the bad things? It might be a bit peaceful on your own. <laughs> I mean, no, two are always better than one. Will you be quiet? That's got me out of trouble. Poor old Dad's having a bit of bother, though. You can't just waltz in here and paint your shop like a pillar box. It doesn't fit in with the authentic period charm of the village. Oh, get a life. <laughs> The video shop down the road with the Terminator 6 placards doesn't exactly add to the authentic period charm of the village now, does it? And besides, it's our bookshop and we'll paint it whatever colour we like. Can you just hold the ladder still, please, Mr. DIY? I'm, I'm holding it steady. Right. Like what? What? Ah! what? what? Look what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Who's doing this job? Me or you? Oh, you can see heaps more stars in the countryside. Even the moon looks diff different. Oh, it's so beautiful, Ruby. Look. Oh, shut up, Garnet. I'm trying to listen to Dad and Rosie Posey. I think they're having an argument. Oh, no. No, it's great. Sooner Dad gets rid of her and this stupid bookshop, the better. We want it all to go wrong. I mean, we'll behave really badly at school and get ourselves expelled. Then we can go back and do it with Gran. Yes! Getting expelled, what a great plan. Today, we'll really start causing trouble. Oh, Quiet, please, settle down. Oh, Jeremy, really? Quiet, please. So, Jeremy, what animal will you be painting today, then? Oh, wow. <laughs> the gorilla. He just has to copy himself. Now, <laughs> then. <laughs> and what about you? Garnet? Mm. A giraffe, please, Miss Debenham. What? So you'll be doing the twin giraffe, will you, Ruby? No, thank you, Miss Debenham. I don't want to paint any stupid old giraffe. I'm not sure I like your tone of voice. <laughs> what animal will you be choosing, then? Well, Garnet and I will go for a flea. <laughs> oh, Ruby, why a flea? Simple. One little blob. <laughs> flea finished. And afterwards, they can muck around for the rest of the time. Oh. Well, I think we'll really stretch Ruby today and ask her to do the flea and its twin all by herself. You just carry on with your giraffe. So who wants to do the other giraffe for Noah's Ark? Oh, me, please, Miss Debenham. Jeremy. What does Garnet see in that girl? I'll show her. 